stand still now? Don't you f***ing go down there. Jan Arslan calmly walking away, knife in hand, ignoring an off-duty policeman armed desperately with what he could find, a plank of wood. No! Stop! No, I'll kill you. Stop! Yeah. Put that f***ing knife down now! The jury saw this security footage. Moments earlier, he had stabbed father of three, Matthew Borman, 27 times. Matt shone brightly. He radiated enthusiasm and had a real zest for life. He loved to celebrate life and fill the house with both music and laughter. Perhaps what people will remember most of all about Matt is his smile. His energy, his love, his laughter. A very proud father of his children. Matthew was stabbed to death in his front garden um, with, with canards and sat on top of him. It was, it, was a, it was a brutal, violent attack. In front of people? In front of people, yeah. In, in um, the, the um, noise and screams that could be heard um, alerted a, a very close knit neighbourhood. The community included off-duty Sergeant Steve Wilkinson, who tries to stop Arslan reaching his next target, neighbour Peter Marsden, a man so worried about Arslan's threats, he'd strengthened his garden gate. Moments later, Arslan stabs Mr Marsden eight times, is pushed out of the house, his knife nearly connecting with the police officer, as this footage showed the jury. Then he looks through the door at Peter Marsden, lighting a cigarette, and calmly lighting a second cigarette moments later. Then returning to the street where neighbours, including a second off-duty policeman, try to contain him. So I have the suspect secured. Soon police arrive and arrest Arslan. The killer now starts threatening them. There is a bond on your head. Could this killing have been prevented? For months, police had been told by neighbours and even Arslan himself that he wanted them dead. He is dead, isn't he? I warn you, the police, one year. Look, it happened. I warned them I was going to murder him. <laughs> and the jury was shown this insight into Arslan's mind. Video from arresting officers as he complains about the handcuffs and starts trying to intimidate them. Look, I am begging you, could you put this in front? No, unfortunately we can't. That's not in our policy. I have disability, don't you believe? I do, I do believe you, but I don't believe that they're causing you any harm. And it's they are, I have arthritis. It, right, OK, it's proportionate to the Look offense at the that ten you suspect. Look, like I'm in the ten people. There is a bond on your head as what well. What is it, a lighter? Yeah, hey, there's no point threatening us, is there? It's yeah. not going to get you anywhere, yeah. get in the van. Yeah. It's not getting you anywhere, that's it. Yeah, you have all Can Arslan um, was um, a difficult individual that um, had been living next door, um, causing problems in the neighbourhood for a while. Um, and um, we've we've obviously learned a lot about his uh, mental health through reports that we've had done leading up to the trial, which shows him as a very angry and violent individual. I'm not a murderer. I'm just a victim. Jan Arslan denied the murder of Matthew Borman, but admitted his manslaughter through diminished responsibility. He claimed to have heard voices. The prosecution said he knew exactly what he was doing, why he was doing it, and he knew it was morally wrong. The jury agreed and today convicted him of murder. Jan Arslan cast a long shadow over this neighbourhood. Today's verdict will be of little comfort to a community still in grief, with so many questions still unanswered. Robert Murphy, ITV News.